We are now in Schlefto in northern Sweden and uh, today I will talk about camp mode because you know uh, we've been using that keep climate mode keep climate on in the past right and the camp mode is a new feature that suits better for I guess camping in a car or like I did here I slept in the car last night so but there's one thing though know, I find really strange is that yesterday I supercharged is just uh, a couple of kilometers from here I supercharged with 90 percent and then the move over here, which is a resting area, uh, with about 87%. And then in the morning, about eight hours later, I had all, a little over 60% left. I was like, what the heck? So um, that equals to 2.5 kilowatt. It's crazy. It's only two degrees Celsius outside. It shouldn't spend 2.5 kilowatt. I mean, this is yet another video I show you guys how thirsty the Model 3 is when it's stationary. Uh, so what the heck is going on? Um, I noticed one thing though. I, I checked with the FLIR camera that uh, it seems like it tries to prioritize the back. So the front area, also when I crawl back here in the front, I noticed that it's, it's a little bit cold-ish in the front um, and the foot well it seems like they, they kind of like prioritize the heat to go more in the back because the back was nice and toasty almost too too hot but I, I set it to 20 degrees celsius and i thought okay that's enough uh so i'm not sure what's what's up with that if it's if it's uh, supposed to be like that by design or whatever but uh, that yeah does that contribute to uh the high consumption no it shouldn't uh, still you know it shouldn't pull 2.5 kilowatt but i noticed something else though is that um when you are in camp mode uh you see if you if you put the keep climate on you see that one disappeared uh if you switch off you know um this is a you you turn on the the rear vent here Oh, it will automatically detect it if someone is sitting in the back. Um, but if you know what, I, what I usually you see it grays, grayed out now. Um, if I do usually when I camp before, I would have it like this, and then after half an hour, it will it will reset something like this. It will be something like this, you know, and then that it shuts off the back. Um, not only that, but uh, the the keep climate on will also switch off the screen after half an hour, and it will also um, the lights after the half an hour it's almost like you you stop the car or something and then the the headlights i mean sorry the the the, the interior lights comes on so one thing i have to remember is to switch off uh, the lights uh, when i sleep in the car otherwise I will suddenly I will, boom, the light comes on but that one with, with the camp mode it was different because then as long as you have it in camp mode it's the screen had that nice, you know, camping screen. Um, it stayed like that throughout the night. Uh, it wasn't too disturbing, by the way, um, too, not too bright or anything. And uh, it remember all the settings I had. Uh, uh, all the, this one, it remember that one. Whereas if you use this, if you, if, you, if you tweak something, for example, like I used to do in the past, try to go a little bit low, you know, I tweak it so that it's not too, too loud. Well, it only works for half an hour and then it goes into it resets to this basically yeah so the camp mode is is nicer but i suspect that the camp mode or i'm not sure what's going on um if it has something to do with the moisture outside or whatever but uh, uh, tesla should try to tweak this because we have this one recirculation mode and normally when you're just driving normal it will alternate between recirculation on and off and um, in camp mode it seems like it was forcing cold air from outside continuously and of course that costs way more energy to heat up uh, and also during the night and in the morning you know I try to listen to this sound I'm gonna show you if you listen That, that one is a distinct sound, you know. Bloop, boop, bloop, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, it's it's the, the, the valves closing and opening for you know air flow. Um, I never heard that in camp mode, so I suspect that when you have it in camp mode, it will just 
it will never do this. It will not alternate to the recirculation, which would actually save save uh, some uh, some power. We can already see it now, by the way. Um, the the ah uh, well, barely. Yeah, it dropped a little bit. So, but again, so again, camp mode so far. Okay, I'm gonna put it on this one, I guess. Camp mode so far is awesome, man. I love it. I love it. It's better than the the the, the keep climate on. But I think it needs a little bit more tweaking because right now it's really inefficient. So people who use this, especially in cold weather, they will get a little shock. They just wake up with 25% less energy. <laughs> so it should be, it shouldn't be that much. It should be 15% overnight. Yeah. So um, anyway, hopefully Tesla watches my video and they will do continuous tweaking with this and make it even better. Yes. So I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.